Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, July 19th to the 31st of 2022. So, something interesting here I want to show you. <laughs> I kind of kind of wondered when uh, Princess Auto would be getting into a sawmill, and look at this. They've, uh, they've got a 26-inch sawmill, which is pretty much, uh, well, a little different than mine. Ooh, it really, well, yeah, it's the same kind of lift mechanism i mean that works good with pulleys and stuff for lifting up the, the saw head but it's way way higher that's weird everything else looks kind of normal-ish but uh yeah look at that 20 or oh, three thousand dollars regularly 34.99 still it's a little bit cheaper than the uh woodland mills one i've got but not not a whole lot but uh kind of looks wow i wish i could uh wish i could zoom in a little more here but um oh i can there we go so the bunks look a little thinner. It looks like they've got a screw screw type um, log holder. Can't really see that. Well, the log stops are pretty much the same, it looks like. Well, those bunks might, well, the picture really doesn't show much, but, you know, they might be the same same width or the same thickness, we'll say, on these bunks here on the end. I don't know, it's hard to say. It looks like the same shape. Looks exactly the same on the bottom. I kind of think that this company's made this for um, the same one as the Woodland Mills. Chinese probably, right? So that all kind of looks the same. A little bit different up here, though, where my uh, pulley system's kind of on the bottom here. Where's the throttle on it? I don't know. Anyways, just thought that was interesting. Figured you guys would be enjoying that, looking at that. So anyways, July 19th to the 31st, let's have a look here. There is one thing right here that I think I might go down and grab. I think my stepdad wanted to go down too, so um, I wanted to replace some of my ratchet straps. There, there's. I've got quite a few I'm using right now for the uh, strapping down the wood, actually, to uh, keep it from warping and stuff while it's drying. But um, yeah, though that's a pretty good deal. Eight eight bucks for a inch and a half by 20 foot good for 4,000 pound although it says 1,300 pound there oh working load sorry maximum I guess breaking is probably 4,000 so that's pretty good uh yeah of course the sawmill look at this electric folding bikes oh man you're seeing a lot of these going around now on the roads and stuff which is good I mean it's really kind of odd that it's taken this long for them to come out with something but I guess you know they're starting to pour in the market now so uh, 8,750, probably, yeah, startup surge uh, generator, and then it's 7,000 running. So that's pretty good. Seven of 100 bucks, wow. Might not have years of longevity in it, but, you know, that's pretty good. Ooh, wait a minute now. That's a pretty good price there for that. I don't really need any, but that's that real thick stuff. The three gauge stuff. No, uh, eight gauge stuff. Sorry. Eight gauge, three wire. Welding wire. Welding, you know, from your generator. Say this guy. Well, yeah, it might have a plug there. Yeah, one of these two. Uh, no, this is a this is a straight welder. Uh, it? Uh, extension cord. So, yeah, extension cord. Look at that. Uh, but it doesn't, you could change the end, that's sort of what I did with mine, I changed the end to go from this into my generator, and then uh, this into the welder plug, so I can weld at the shed and stuff. So that's good, and a little air compressor there, that's, that seems like a lot for that, but maybe it's a decent one. What does it put up? 5.5 CFM is not very much at 90, max uh, 130, we used to rent a little... At the rental I worked at, we had like little ones with a little handle on it. You just pick the whole thing up, walk away with it. And I think it was a 5 CFM. I don't know what, what pressure, but it might have been more like 60 or something. But uh, for, you know, the little air nailers and stuff. But anyways, so a little bit of stuff here. And, wow, lots of advertising. Surplus! I knew that was coming up. <laughs> Surplus. $4.44 for a pair of them gloves. That's probably not too bad. I don't potentially really need all this junk on the back that kind of stuff feels weird on the back of the hands you know but what the heck is this bluetooth key trackers oh hey that's kind of cool so if you lose it in your house you can do 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 there it is or if it gives you like a little map or something or just beeps maybe this thing starts beeping 
Large and extra large enhanced visibility running vests. Hey, there you go. They look like they're not getting too far away. They're not running very fast, are they? <laughs> I'm tricking ya. Tricking ya. Ooh, what is that? Indoor, indoor, outdoor electric grill. Indoor? Indoor grill? That does not sound right, but I, yeah, I guess if you vented it all right, it'd be fine. Okay. Nice little aluminum table there. Campsite table. 70 bucks though that's enough 27 so 20 almost over two feet wide by 43 so it's over three feet wide so yeah what's that 43 is like four feet almost huh well speaker wire ammo boxes of course they're always good to have for dry storage stuff some ethernet cable surge protector uh this guy, <laughs> power bar, some cords and ropes and stuff, chargeable under cabinet lights with motion sensor. Hey, that's kind of cool. Wonder where that would be handy to have. Hmm. Very nice. Rechargeable though. Rechargeable. Rechargeable. I'd want it to get it stuck on something, but anyways. Oh, that's kind of neat. Um, Nine-piece star, well, star, or is it uh, Torx, I think? Well, maybe those aren't quite Torx. I think they are Torx, but yeah, T, yeah, Torx bits. Hmm, don't see a lot of them on a lot of stuff here. A little bit here and there, but not much. Extender reach soil aerator. Oh, that just looks like too much work. <laughs> well, there's one of those self-healing mats, too. Really should get myself one of them. Three foot by two foot. That's actually a pretty good price, like at the... Uh, craft store over here man you buy like this for like 300 bucks it's ridiculous that's actually pretty good price but anyways Ma machinist ruler there's a nice led strip light four foot shop light i got um pretty much these so what i use in the c container above the tractor and i replaced one of the uh uh fluorescent tube lights in the shed there too with some of these i think it's, i think i got another pack of them too they're actually pretty decent lights trailer hitches trailer axles and springs and fenders and uh one of those things for hooking the two axles to so it's like a walking axle they call that so when you go up over a bump on the front tire it kind of Goes up and then rides down. You know, it doesn't just lift the whole front end or whatever up, right? Some nuts. Now, what is this stuff for? Stuff for your trailer. Water filters. Hey, that's pretty good. I wonder how they hook up. 20 micron sediment. That's actually good, but that's pretty high. I'd rather have more like a 5 micron, you know, where it would capture a lot more stuff. But, hey... You never know what's in the water, right? Oh, man. I don't know. Way back, you know, when our parents, you know, were, like, younger and stuff, if the, you know, the water was quite so contaminated as it is now, we're, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> I think now, holy cow, there's so much junk in the water now, it's ridiculous. Maybe we're not all uh, croaking from contamination of the water. Anyways, some more RV stuff. I got a set of these, and I used on my F-150, and then I haven't had to use it since. On the bigger truck, it doesn't seem to really need it. So all this does is stop sway. So if your trailer starts, you know, left to right, left to right, left to right, it'll these things have a little brake puck in it, and they um, tighten this big lever down here till you get your kind of desired tension, and then it only lets it slide when it's turning. It doesn't let it, you know, get the sway going on the back. So the uh, Ford trucks actually have a neat thing too, where it'll sense that, and it'll counteract only one side of the rear brakes to opposite what the swing is so it'll kind of keep it so you won't even probably know what's doing it so that's uh pretty intelligent i thought how it knows that i don't know but it must have a sensor there somewhere but these things are pretty cool they fill these full of air and then put it in the beat of your tire and it uh, fills the beat up real fast as you're trying to fill it so it just rushes a whole bunch of air in. sometimes they work other times it's like yeah you're not gonna close that gap you need uh, a little more help but anyways some trailer ball mounts and stuff, and uh, one of these hitch receiver tubes. Actually, I made one of these and a hitch for, I think it was uh, 
I think it was an old gator we had. Yeah, that's right. It was an old gator, and it actually worked pretty good. Trailer locking stuff. Thieves just love busting this stuff off. I mean, you might as well just leave it unlocked for them. It seems like here, anyways. They just bust that off and gone with it in no time. Nice little uh, steel. Wow, that would not be good in this country, up, all up in Canada here, especially wintertime, because the salt and stuff would just get through this one skinny layer of paint. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the end of it. It would just start rusting right away. Those things pretty much up here have to be like aluminum. Not painted, unpainted aluminum. And then they last a little longer. But Some nice trailer jacks. Is that extension again? So if you're putting out... Uh, oh, is that... T-I-E-D-W-N tie down? Really? Is that his license plate? That's cool. And it's even an Ontario plate. It says, yours to discover. I know that because I know what that's... What we have on our plates here. That's neat. Uh, six inch LED magnetic safety lights. Oh, interesting. Okay. I still got a set of these I got to put on my travel trailer. They're really all they had that was LED down there. I was kind of surprised. Um, I be believe they are. Maybe these ones aren't LED. Oh, boy. I better have a look at mine because I'm not 100 president sure now. These are LEDs. I don't know that. These are cool. I like these ones because they're like white. But depending on what you get, um, as soon as you hit your brakes, they'll come on red or they'll come on orange or, you know, for like a marker light or whatever. Some nice big tires. Oh, UTV tires. Oh, boy, they're getting bigger, I bet. That's something I wouldn't mind picking up sometime as a UTV. That'd be kind of fun, I think. Trailer tires and chocks. Still want to get one of these for my travel trailer, but I just think it's... I guess you'd have to have it unhooked, but you know what? It wouldn't take someone long to hook into that thing, and then the way it goes, I guess this may be... Well, I'm not too sure if this hooks into the battery on the trailer, or if this would hook into your... No, it wouldn't hook into the trailer hitch wiring. Well, I'm not too sure. I never had one, so I don't really know. Wireless remote, even, with handle with manual cranking. Oh, boy. That's kind of cool. I'd be, I think that'd be really handy. I mean, you know, those big travel trailers are heavy, and it's, uh, yeah. But anyways, these are actually good, too. I've got uh, one of these. I should actually have two, but you put these between your two axles, between the tires, and then you crank this down, this thing opens up, and then it kind of puts a big brake on your tires when you're parked or whatever, and it's actually really good. And uh, this one, I don't know, but mine has a little ring, two little rings on the top that you can put a, a padlock through, which, you know, slows them down. Another 10 seconds, <laughs> really. But, uh, yeah, if they're stealing it, they know what they're doing. Well, there's some air hose stuff and some uh, guns and some other tools. You seem to see these every week, so we're just going to kind of zip through this stuff. Spray paint and stuff. Air filter and dryer. Oh, that's kind of cool little pellets. I wonder if they last longer than the big tubes. Oh, that's something i got to keep an eye out for the flyer, too, is... Uh, one of the big tube dryers for the shed there, I noticed it's getting, um, all this time of year especially, really that compressor up there really compresses the uh, water out of the air, and then you end up getting moisture coming out of the line, which is really bad if you wanted to sandblast in the spring, or in the summertime when it's really damp out. But anyways, two-in-one vacuum and blow kit. Hmm. What's that different, like a pistol grip one? That's neat. And some more little die grinders and stuff. I don't have one of these. I don't know if I... Well, maybe it would be handy. I don't, I don't I know. I had one of these at one time, and it was just so small. Like, you just do little wee tiny things. So I got the, the bigger upright one. It's, uh, it's been good. Uh, and then little die grinder, guys. Rotary toolkit. There's a good little compressor. 11.5 CFM at 90. I think that's probably pretty equivalent to the one I've got up there now. It's maybe a little more than that. But uh, it's maybe more like 13 or so CFM at 90. But uh, that's a decent little one. Cleaning supplies. Nobody wants to look at cleaning supplies. I do need to get some more oil for my wife's car at some point here, though. I do believe Varsol... Oh, I still want one of those two. No, no, no. Got no room for that. <laughs> Ten ton porta power auto body and frame repair kit. There you go. Wheel chalk for a motorcycle. Petroleum based low odor solvent. Now that's all right. 
pneumatic brake bleed kit. Oh, I got one of these too, the wind back tool. Some of them, uh, they just push right in and some of them you actually have to wind the calipers uh, back down in, which it, they kind of suck, but yeah. No co-battery charger. Nice, five amp, hundred bucks. That's pretty good. Ooh, look at this thing. 3,000 watt, 12 volt modified Sydney sign <laughs> wave power inverter. That's a good one too, a 3,000 watt. Wow, nice. Booster packs and battery load testers. Ooh, two amp, two bank battery charger maintainer for standard gel and AMG batteries. Wow, that's not right. Battery box, spray paints. Ooh, painters touch rust -Oleum. They make a lot of stuff that rust -Oleum company. Specialist WD 40 bike chain lube, bike degreaser. Oh, wow. Orange hand cleaner. You know my friend Jack, right? And his, his cousin Stan. You know, Jack, Stan. Okay, come on now. Give me something here. <laughs> uh, you guys must all know Jim. Uh, what's his last name? Uh, Nasium. You know him, Jim, Nasium? Yeah, I know him. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, this is it here, 020. Full synthetic. How much do they want for that C? Uh, twenty nine ninety nine. I guess so that's not too bad. I've never heard of that company OEM, but I uh, kind of like to stay with a sort of well brand, well known brand. You know, Quaker State or Castrol or something. Or um, oh, what's that other one? Oh, there's another one I use a bit too. Can't think of the name of it now. Anyways, clear patch and repair. Anti-skid additive. Oh, that's a good idea for your concrete floors and stuff. Floor primer. Hey, now. Oh, I thought they were actually going to... Oh, man. Oh, look, EV stuff. I will never, ever, 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 ever get an EV. I will walk before I get an EV or a bicycle. I, there's just so many things, cons with it that, you know, a lot of you may not know about honestly, but um, battery-powered stuff is not the answer, honestly. I'm not going to get into it today, but it's just not there. Uh, the technology just isn't good enough yet. But anyways, camping stuff. Oh, boy. Holy moly. That's quite a... Wow, Rambo. <laughs> oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, $550. Oh, so that's decent, but you're doing a lot of pan panks. We call, kids call them pan panks. Pancakes way back then, you know, you could uh, cook quite a few in there, but water can. You don't see those too often. Kind of probably not a good idea. It looks sort of like a gas can too, <laughs> you know, but it says water on it, but yeah. Uh, butane. Some more little pumps. Oh, we got a pumping job coming up soon here for a smaller pump than that even. That'll be coming up in the next little wee while. Little pumps, little pumps, little pumps. Ooh, big fan. Lots of fans. Hose reels. Hey, what is that? Heavy duty tying garden fork with foot pad. Oh, really? Interesting. Doesn't look like a f garden fork to me, but right on. Oh, there's a nice crow's foot wrench set. Oh, there's that uh, threading thing. I think it's this. Was it this? No, I've got more dies than this. I got. I think there's another one. I've got an inch and a half, maybe, on this one too. That I, uh, the kit I've got. And it's not. It's not high quality at, at all. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it does kind of tear at the threads when you're making them. So I guess it's because of the little cutting teeth in it are probably not a super high quality metal. So. Some nice uh, dead blow hammers and a white rubber mallet. Wow. Metal detector even. Wow, that's neat. Vice grip tools. Whole bunch of them things. Oh, that's kind of like the axe I got um, by the sawmill, actually. That, that's funny. <laughs> boom, 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 boom right there. For, uh, you know, if you got to strip off any bark or anything on a tree, that's, this end is really handy for that. A chisel. Hey, a digital torque wrench. Nice. Three-eighths, little guy. 
Probably inch pounds, is it? No, to plays in foot pounds. Really? That little short guy. Wowee. I think you'd be working pretty hard with a short handle like that to get 73.8 foot pounds out of that, but okay then. All righty. Clamp sets. Whoa, look at the size of this clamp. Oh, man. That's not, uh, not to take it away from a family show, but that's not really a good name for a clamp. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but uh, kind of, I, I know that's the name of them, but I, I'm kind of a little bit offended by that, honestly. What else would you call that? Deep reach or something, maybe? Or long reach or wide reach or like I'm sure there's other things they gotta call that. Anyways, okay, keep going. Two piece ceramic magnetic blocks. Now what would you use that for? Ceramic magnetic blocks. I'm, I guess working on stuff and stuff would stick to it, I guess. I don't know. That's interesting. There's some big big totes or tubs, I guess we want to call it. They got galvanized steel tubs. That's good. These are still making them. These things are good. I like these. I got a couple of these whenever we take a tractor or something that, you know, needs chaining down. You wind this thing out and these things unscrew and then you hook it to your chain, hook your chain, and then you... <laughs> Instead of the bear trap ones, these ones are a lot safer. The bear trap ones sometimes do come out, right? Oh, skunk trap. Blech. It's going to keep going because I can smell that one already. <laughs> There's some fueling stuff. This stuff always seems to be expensive enough, even on sale. Wow, that's an expensive pump. Nozzle. Extension cordy stuff. That's all right. SAE O-ring kit. Very nice. Wasp and Hornet, eh? Hmm. Hydraulic lift cart. I was kind of looking for one of those. I should have got one. It was they had it at that one sailor, but it's it looks like this, but it's an oil drain pan thing with wheels and stuff on it, a little handle on it. I uh, yeah, should have probably got one whenever I do my truck, man. That's a lot of oil that comes out. It would be nice to actually get rid of the drain plug and put on like a uh, like a valve of some sort. You could just open up and then oh, oh shut that off now for a minute, and change your pans. But no, no, you got to be fast. Anyways, bifocal safety glasses, really? Holy smokes. Nertile gloves, green monkey. Oh, boy, careful you don't get that green monkey virus out of these gloves, you know. Oh, boy. that would be the next thing, green monkey virus. <laughs> hey, dusk till dawn light, that's all right. 10,000 lumens. That'd be nice and bright, wouldn't it? Very nice. Scaffolding and stuff. Impact resistant toolbox. Hey, now you can put guns in there and stuff if you needed to, I suppose. It's all right. Load up. Little crane. That'd be pretty handy. Job site box. Magnetic tow light kit. I think I have something like this i'm not too sure why i got it i needed him for something from years away back but i still have it they're not quite that shape of light though they're magnetic but they were i can't remember now i haven't seen them for, for a while i've been using them for a while wow we whoo okay well these are nice looking seats so adjustable racing seats a and b pilot and co-pilot really that's interesting very nice. Seat covers. Heavy duty poly utility box. There you go. Oh, what do we got here now? Two twenty-five foot. That's pretty long. And the other ones were uh, twenty foot. These are twelve ninety-nine. These are two inch. Yeah, they're a little wider too. So these are like the bigger. I'd rather have the smaller ones that we looked at earlier. There, the inch and a half by I think they were twenty. Feet. Yeah, these are 25, so five foot longer. Sometimes, like, that's a long strap. you got to find room for, you know, most of my stuff I strap down is shorter too, right? So I don't really need a big fella like that. So that's a pretty good deal, though. And these are a little bit too small. 
And these, uh, those probably would be all right too. 27 foot though. Holy smokes, it's even longer than these ones. No, that's, that's too far. Too far. I don't have to go that far. Actually, these ones are good too. Uh, for if you're tying down like a motorcycle or something, because they have the, uh, uh, covering on them, but sometimes I'll, I'll, well, it sort of looks like one of these, but it's a short little strap with like a little hoop, hoop locky thing on each end. And you put that around your handle and then attach to these two things, right? Two inch by 25 foot, that 10,000 pound. Holy smokes. That's a lot. There they are. That's the thing. That's what I was explaining there. So you put the handlebar through here and then just hang these down and then hook your strap into that guy and then winch her down. And these are handy. Or going around like an axle. Yeah, axle strap. Basically, that's what it is. Around your tractor. It's scratchless towing, you know. There's the little tillers and the little earth auger. Oh, man, you'd have to have some pretty soft ground probably for that thing. Maybe. I don't know. I'll never try one, but wow. I can't believe they're actually making cement mixers out of plastic drums now. I mean, it's cheaper. Yeah, easier, quicker, and, you know, to mold this than metal, but boy, you wouldn't want to use that professionally, I don't think. Drum plastic probably, well, it might last longer than you think, but it might be easier to clean. You know, you just have to give it a couple little taps and the stuff would probably fall off. Look at that chainsaw. What is it even? Forest King. Oh, wow. Very nice. There's a post pounder. I mean, that'd be kind of neat. Chainsaw maintenance kit. Oh, wow. They're actually selling little trenchers and everything. Oh, man, that's cool. Stump grinder, 2000 bucks a piece, though. Oof, that's enough. Wood saw. Really? Total gas. Wood saw. Powerful engine, maximum cutting width. 3938 steel construction clues work table. Oh, cool. Chippers. Oh, that's kind of neat. A motorized lift table. Wow, electric. Some generators. Another generator. 11,050 watt surge, like uh, startup. Wow. Continuous 9,000. That's pretty good. There's a nice big pressure washer. I don't see that gas uh, heated washer, though. Wouldn't mind getting one of them, but I, I really only need it like once to wash stuff, maybe once a year, and that would be it. And then what do you do with it, right? It's a big thing to kind of store somewhere. But I think we may be looking at, at the end of their flyer here. Looks like it's some welding stuff here. Pipe benders. Torches. Oh, hey, that's neat. Floor mount drill press. I wonder how uh, precise and accurate that thing would stay. Bench mount roller. Hey, how wide is that? Oh, it's not too wide. 11 three quarter, no. I have uh, something I need these for, but uh, that's not wide enough. Need to be at least 24 inch. You could do side by side, I guess. That would give you uh, 11. What would that be? Let me just calculate that quick here. 11.75 times 2 would be 23 and a half. Yeah, it's almost 24 if you put side by side. Hmm, interesting. I have a project that I need to do, and uh, it's not for me. It's for the uh, cemetery, but anyways, yeah, it looks like the end of the flyer. All right. Well, that was pretty good. I still can't believe they got, uh, oh, yeah, we got to look at this before we go. So Woodland Mills, where I got my sawmill from, sells replacement blades, of course. If we go to here, they want $249.99 for five blades. I can get... 10 pack blades for about 300 shipped i think to me that's taxes and shipping so they're way way too high on their price they're about twice the price so they're about 50 bucks a blade roughly um and one of mills is like about 25 bucks a blade so yeah they're, they're way too expensive on that but anyways that's your two-week princess auto sale flyer july 19th to the 31st i'm kind of Thinking I'm going to go down and get these, these um, straps. Where were we here? Straps. No, past them. These straps. I'm going to go get a couple of them, I think. A few of them. Maybe maybe 10 of them or something. I don't know. And I want to see if they have one of these set up. I kind of highly doubt they'll have one set up uh, there. But I just kind of want to look at the differences. I mean, it looks all 
pretty much the same. The little things here and there, but and I guess that's your water tank. It's a lot smaller tank, I think. But anyways, yeah, there we go. So that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day and happy shopping.